Welcome to the Windows Computers and Technology channel and a uh, question that I get from time to time. And um, if you're, you know, either buying a new PC or if you have a PC and you're wondering, um, you know, do I have enough RAM and what's the impact of RAM? We've talked about it in the past. Uh, it's good to have reminders, especially we got a lot of new subscribers every month. So um, we're going to talk about it a little bit here. So first of all, our RAM is what the computer uses as it is uh, running. So when you are using your PC, RAM is the number one thing that makes your PC fast. That's because everything that you do, the programs you open, are all stored there. And the reason it is, is because RAM memory is extremely fast. So how much memory should you have? So the minimum requirements in Windows, you know, with four gigabytes you get enough according to them, I would not recommend four because I think four is probably a the really low limit here. If you've got eight, depending on what you do, it might be fine. I got a couple of machines that've got eight uh, gigabytes here. They're running Windows 10 and 11 very well, as long as you're not a power user, just a you know standard user with eight, will be okay. If you buy a PC, a new PC today, I would recommend that you not choose anything that has less than 16. I think 16 is the magic number today uh, and the best number. So if you're a average user um, and you are using your PC and even you know a more powerful power user if you want, I think 16 gigabytes is really, really the minimum. It'll keep your computer uh, going fast and it will, of course, be um, never pretty much run out of RAM for the most part. Uh, even my gaming PC here that I have, the uh, Asus uh, Tough, is uh, as 16, and it's fine even for the gaming. But if you're a heavy gamer, you have like high resolutions and all of that, not only does the um, memory that you have, the RAM memory, um, you know, should be higher, because I don't think gamers, you know, should have less than 16 gigabytes of RAM. But also, of course, a lot of RAM on your graphics GPU. And we're going to talk about that because I got a question about that and uh, the, the average interaction of, of what it all means. Because there's different numbers when we look at GPUs. So, um, 16, magic number. And really heavy power users, maybe 32. Uh, could be, but there's a limit, a higher limit where the computer doesn't gain anything from having a lot of it. You know, I see people coming as like, I got 64 gigs of RAM. Yeah, you probably never use it. You're wasting money on extra RAM where you could have wasted that and take that money and put it into something else, maybe a better CPU, for example. Things like that. You know, you got to be careful with what is acceptable and what becomes maybe too much at some point. So depending on the, 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 the usage you do, um, at least eight. I think eight is the minimum today. But 16 is the magic number where, like I said, if you have a new PC, 16. If you have a PC that's not that old and it's got eight, it's not very expensive. You should, you should invest in you know, putting 16 instead. And um, very, you know, power users, some types of gamers, 32 probably would be a good number. Uh, more than that, I don't think, for the most part, it's really useful. Um, there could be some exceptions to the rule, but uh, for most people, I think 16 is the magic number. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.